God. You're knackered, Lee. <laughs> yeah. You've had a very long day, haven't you? A very, very, very exhausting day. It's hard work being a driver's mate, isn't it? Yeah. Have you ever been a, that's the first time in your life you've been a driver's mate, isn't it? Yeah. Was it good? Great. Yeah, you've got a lot of humping and lifting. Yeah. Did, you have, did you have a good chat with uh, Killer Dave? Yeah. He's a good guy. He's um absolutely amazing guy. I mean, what, a, what an absolute gentleman that was, isn't it? Helping us and everything. Yeah. And uh, I was saying, I don't know whether I caught it on the last vlog, but when you came up with Killer Dave, it was a one-way ticket. Yeah. But you can always go back to Manchester if you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah, right. So where are we going tonight? Um, I can't remember the name. Steamboat. Steamboat. So I'm going to go to the Steamboat. Um, we're catching up with Sandra, Hannah and Yanto. And then some people the other day when I did a vlog... Um, when we went to Mablethorpe, it was raining and we all got wet. And then we were walking somewhere else. Oh, you got a different hoodie on. Um, everybody's going, you must have been freezing and cold. But I'm saying to everybody, you only ever wear a hoodie. You I keep saying to wear a coat, don't I? Yeah, I don't mind the cold. Yeah, everybody was saying I'm tight. And, and how how yeah. were you? I was fine. Were you fine? You were, you were fine. To tell everybody you were fine, they're all thinking I'm neglecting my son, my baby boy. <laughs> Lee was absolutely fine. If he had a problem, he would say, Dad, can I have a cast? I, offered, I actually offered to buy you a coat, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I brought a coat with me. I didn't take it. I don't really wear a coat too much. No, well, that's fine and dandy. Right. So we're going to get get going. Sorry, I've got a little torch. Where, where's my head torch? I brought it up. You, have you still got it? Yeah. Is it somewhere safe? Yeah. Where is it? I'm not sure. <laughs> is it? Bag, I, think. I went out the other night to, to put Rasher out and I sometimes put the head torch. I said, Where, Where's my head torch? <laughs> well, Lee's got it. Right, we need to go and hit the road and, um, and get into Skeg Vegas. Yeah. It's becoming a bit of a regular going up and down this road, isn't it, all the time? Isn't yeah. it? Right, come on, Lee, let's go. Right, Lee, so as, as I'm recording this, we just wait. It feels like it was months ago you were here, but it was only a week ago, wasn't it? Yeah. And uh, we came here with Barbara, didn't we? Um, so I had a mixed grill last time, I fancy another mixed grill. So back at the steamboat, opposite the KFC in Skeg Vegas. And all being well, Sandra, Hannah and Yanto will be here. Uh, oh, do we like to be, is it, good? Is it nice to be by the seaside lake? Yeah. You never thought this would happen, did you? Right, let's get in. Well, get sorry, we're having a bright gas, aren't we? We're having a bit of a laugh here, aren't we? Nice. You were worried about chips, weren't you? It's not really only for two people, is it? It, it, it does, doesn't it? I think we could have a little longer. It's for people that size, not our size. I don't know. Anyway, we've, 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 we've got two sharing platters, which we're all going to share. Um, and Lee just dived in on that garlic bread, didn't you? He went for it. Hannah's going for an anchovy. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, 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 oh. And I'm going for an onion ring. What are the dips? Right, demolished. I think, Lee, I think Lee ate all the chicken, didn't you? Did you eat all the chicken, chicken and garlic bread? And it definitely went for the mushrooms, didn't you? You had a bit of everything there, Sandra. Just big, big. And you had a good grey chanteau. I'm all in, yeah. yeah. Um, got a very nice... Uh, oh, you got a nice... Uh, very nice talisker here. Yeah. Beautiful whiskey, yeah. And I'm on a shandy, because I'm driving. And Lee's on a lemonade, because you don't drink. What are you on there? Guinness oh, water. Oh, I could kill that Guinness. Oh. I was out the other day in chapel, didn't tell Sandra this, went to get a Chinese, went into a pub, do you know how much a plant of Guinness was? How much do you think? How much did it normally? About a fiver. Fiver? Like £3.80. I'm back in Ultimate, it was over £4.80, £4.90. I haven't been out for a drink since we left Wales, so I don't think actually. Anyway, three pounds for a pint of Guinness. Three three pounds for a pint of Guinness. Three pounds for a pint of Guinness, like. I was driving it because I only have one. I wonder if, wonder if Sandra will take me one day. Please, you should, shouldn't you? I'll tell you what, we can pretend we're on holiday. Get Sandra to leave me in the pub. You can go in the arcades. Hannah can go for a walk on the beach. And then they can all abandon me in the pub. And then Hannah can come running back going, Hurry, 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 mum's worried and left, left me. Well, nearly maroon off an island, the Shell Island, when you all left me in the pub. And you came running in and said, hurry, hurry. 
Yeah, it's just like she was going to get left off the island. That's a story. Right, so I'm on a mixed call. You're on there, it's a little cheese in your pie. Lasagna, what are you on there, Yanto? That's katsu curry. Is that hot chilli? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Thank you. Lee's going for the, the rib and chicken combo. Oh, that's a nice rib, Lee, isn't it? Oh. Oh, lovely, thank you. You a fond farewell and everything, and uh, welcome to Skeg Vegas. Lovely, yeah. Where the sun always shines and it never rains, and there's a lovely easterly wind. Where are you, where are you, you there, Lee? And uh, we'll be catching you tomorrow yeah, at some stage. Yeah. Um, are you all coming back to the nursery, Sandra? For now, no, we're probably going to have lunch like, by the sea somewhere. What about me? You're working, sorry. Oh. Oh, that's good, they're going to have lunch. They're, they're going to have lunch by the sea, Lee. What are we going to have? Frozen pizza for tea? <sighs> if we're looking. Right, so this vlog now is going to be going into Sandra a couple of days ago, back at home. Um, so you've seen my version of the house move and coming up in a minute is Sandra's version of the house move. So keep watching because uh, you'll, you'll do it. So it's all over. It was a really crazy 48 hours, but yes, yeah, uh, hard bit's done. And then you've had a mad 24 hours to Lincolnshire. Spend the night in the caravan. Mm. Russia wasn't very happy, was she? She's all right. Very, very confused dog going, why, why is somebody on my, my, my space and everything? Um, so going back this afternoon, I think going out with Yanto and Hannah to Gibraltar Point. Yeah, so, so Yanto needs to get back off yeah. to his home. So Hannah's then going to give me a lift back to my old home. Okay, yeah. Um, but where are you staying tonight? Well, technically, I can still stay at home, I don't mean. Oh, is the bed still there? Bed's have you, still have there. you got a quilt? I kept a quilt, yeah. Well, our quilt? Where, 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 where's your quilt? Well, at least I didn't sleep on at Sarah's as well, so. Okay. Brilliant. Right, so. Okay, so, last bit, uh, so Hannah can look after a few bits for me. Just, anyway, just going to clear out the last bits, figure out what I'm going to put where. Breathe. Uh, yeah, a lot of admin to sort out with the move. Yeah. Getting there. No, so coming up is Sandra back at home, recorded yesterday as I'm recording this. Get into it. Say say goodbye because it's a bit this this, this is a, a vlog of two halves. <laughs> goodbye. Good morning. So where are things up to? So by the time you see this, you will have seen a few very excited um, sections, I believe, from the lovely Neil. Very excited that everything's completed with the house and we're all good to go and everything's rosy. I'm not saying it's not rosy, but um, there have been some last minute hiccups. So... It should have all happened on Monday and then it didn't because the buyers wanted to have a last look round before they changed their minds. So that was why I was looking rather stressed on the last uh, pooms made down in Lincolnshire. Anyway, so that all went really well. They were very happy and then... So, so it's shifted the uh, exchange of contracts by a couple of days. Well, that's okay. It's still before we move all our furniture, etc. And then uh, that day came and went. Nothing. The next day came and went. Um, there was a a technical error, I think, being put it politely. So it wasn't possible to com to exchange yesterday. All being well. Today really should be the day. Um, but anyway, we're, we're plodding on regardless. And um, so I've just had what may well be my last bath in the old house. I'm just about to have a breakfast, crack on with work this morning, and then finish packing everything uh, this afternoon and tonight, ready for a very early start tomorrow and to get everything moved. So I've been really really fortunate that I'm going to have a bit of help with all this because it's quite an overwhelming task on my own so um, 
Uh, so obviously Lee's going to help. Uh, my daughter Hannah was over yesterday helping pack up my kitchen. Uh, uh, my three brothers are coming over. And obviously, um, Dave, you've met before. Hi, Dave. Uh, is going to drive over and give us a hand uh, driving back. So that's the plan. So all being well, by tomorrow night, all our stuff should be in secure lockers. And then I'll be coming back to a very empty house. Uh, give it a last clean. And then all being well, all being well. On Wednesday, next week, it really, really will, or well, this phase at least, will all be over. So it's been a long old journey. I mean, going back, back to last summer, really, when we first started putting plans in place. I knew it would take quite a long time, but it has been pretty draining, I'll be honest. So people have commented I'm looking tired. It's because I really am. Like, part of the reason for the change is the, you know, the, the job situation combined with hardly seeing Neil combined with making sure my mum's okay. Um, so it will get better once it's all in place. But right now it's just been a really tough nine months or however long it's been. And some other stuff going in the background, some personal stuff that um, I see not really discussing. But um, uh, yeah, anyway, so, oh, the sun's just come out. Ooh. I definitely need more sun. I don't know about you lot out there, I definitely need more sun. So I'm going to grab my breakfast and, and get on. And I'll perhaps try to do a little bit here and there as we go through. As you can see, we're just by now surrounded by boxes and boxes and packing. and Yeah, so the end's in sight. So, well... Today, finally, is the day. <laughs> so we've been waiting since Monday for this day. Now it's Friday. But it's all official. All the legal stuff's done. And we are moving to Lincolnshire. Finally. So we've got to arm your helpers this weekend. And we load all our stuff into vans. And get it over there. And then by Wednesday, We'll hand over our house and have access to the new house. Exciting times. <laughs> so got Jan to here helping. Hi there. Yay. One of the brothers, yeah. Come to the rescue. I got three and a half to the looter and rowing to go. Let's do it. Yeah, I was nervous about that, but I'm glad, so glad you got here okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so am I. You seemed huge when I first got in it. It's like, <laughs> oh my God, it's big. But it's, it's all right, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, a few. And, uh, my little superstar who helped pack up the kitchen yesterday, which is an absolute, literally godsend. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So yeah, see what tomorrow brings, but so far so good. Very, very, very quick one for me. We're having a very, very early start. It's about half eight. Everyone's already here. Need to help pack. Sort of, anyway. So, <laughs> whew. moving day. Da -da. So most of this should be gone. Wish us luck. So very, very quick breather with Lee. Say hi to everyone, Lee. Hi. Hi, <laughs> breath. Anyway, we're doing good. Um, make good progress. Nothing at all in here. Lee's going to start helping bringing stuff from down, upstairs, downstairs. A lot of the downstairs is packed. So, uh, so I've been saying for five days, will today be the day? No. Will today be the day? No. Anyway, finally, yesterday was the day. We really are moving to our new place next week. Very excited, are you excited? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but we have to pack, so it's going to be a very quick one. See you later. So this is it now, last push. We've got one van load. Hi, Hannah. 
two van loads. So the question now is, will it fit at the other end? And finally, the sales sign, sold sign, is down. Way. So, van number one has gone. Just had a random hello from a good friend, Julian, <laughs> who's been and gone. Van number two is about to go. And um, my brain is completely fried, is all I can say right at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you've got to drive so, the Crando as well. No, that, yeah, we, we decided driving the Crando as well would just be too much and not a good idea. Yeah, so. Uh, anyway. Very quick lass. So, empty. Mostly empty. Empty, 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 empty. Ooh. Empty. Left a few bits in there just. Um, yeah, work in progress, but to be fair, the vans are pretty full and we've only got the storage for now. <laughs> empty, empty. Empty, empty. Empty, empty. Mostly. Loft is empty, and we won't talk about this room because that's a headache for another day. Yeah. So, what an unbelievable 24 hours. I've literally gone from being in limbo to um, everything going through legally, to handing my notes at work, to getting all the stuff packed up, ready to go today, to getting it all in the vans. And. Gotta grab a quick bite sweet on the go and then we're on our way as well, following the vans. Neil's gonna laugh at this. Well, um I'm being door knocked. So um it's nearly election time and people are out campaigning, including Councillor Julian Newgrosh. Hello, vote Lib Dem. <laughs> so go on, why should I vote Lib Dem? Give us a Well, to get an active councillor after fifty years of Tory councillors in this area that haven't done very much. Uh, try give a chance to try the Lib Dem difference. Uh, make a difference. Put Lib Dem. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Not only is it moving day, <laughs> it's door knocking day. <laughs> anyway, um, Hannah's with me as well, and we are just about to set off and join the others. Wish me luck. It's the end of the day. Pretty much all the stuff is packed, moved, and in secure storage until we can get into our house. So, just here with Hannah and Yanto. <laughs> Hello! Hannah gets dragging again. She goes, Oh God, I have to. I was, I was mainly trying to film the sea. It is, the tide is right in, like really right in. Is that not magnificent? Marvellous! I actually really wanted to film the sea, but you know. <laughs> 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 